Good day, folks. Welcome to an OCC Daily Queensland Weather App. Today, the 5th of Feb, 2023. My name is Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Right, folks, we've got a weak low pressure region out here between the Vanuatu Islands and the Solomon Islands. That area of low pressure will consolidate and deepen as it pushes westwards into the Coral Sea. Around about just east of Willis Island, it's going to adopt a more southward track and then away to the southeast through the week. The system itself is likely to be quite large with a fairly large wind field and so you can see it consolidating as it pushes in a westerly direction here on Tuesday. On Wednesday it starts to adopt a southerly direction, on Thursday it starts to move away to the southeast. You can see it's got a quite large wind field so that means we will start to see wind strengthening across the Queensland coast through the week, particularly off central Queensland. The system is extremely unlikely to come onto the coastline directly, but as always, coral sea systems need to be monitored closely. You can see, thanks to tropical tidbits here, the GFS ensemble suggesting the system will intensify into a tropical cyclone through around about the middle part of the week, and that tropical cyclone will push southeast through the coral sea. We have a heck of a lot more depth and detail about what we expect from that system, the on-the-ground effects, and what are the chances that it doesn't quite follow the exact track that's been laid out for it at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options if you'd like to learn more about the science of why cyclones go where they go and do what they do. Currently across the state, putting that cyclone aside, we can see some showers coming onto the northeast Queensland coast. And we had some very heavy rainfall in the Townsville district, some flash flooding through parts of uh, the southern suburbs of Townsville. Uh, we also had uh, some shower activity through central Queensland. Big trough system overnight created widespread heavy rain, but offshore off central Queensland. And uh, this morning we're seeing convective activity developing through northern inland Queensland again as we flood the place with moisture. Right, uh, still some heavy showers expected through parts of the coastline, although they will be a little bit more isolated as the day goes on. Doesn't mean that they won't be there. There is still some isolated convective shower activity near the coast and the potential for locally heavy falls so with that. You can see how this moisture is flooding in through the northern interior, resulting in convective rainfall across the northern interior and to a certain extent central interior parts of the state. Also a weak trough system located off in inland of central Queensland, resulting in some isolated showers and possible thunderstorms in that section of the state as well uh, and you can see gradually decreasing as the night time progresses overnight tonight we're expecting to see uh, some locally heavy falls on the coastline again uh, through the northeast coast particularly as we push into tomorrow north of Townsville if we're going to get any more substantial rainfall it'll likely be north of Townsville but uh, through the night time hours tonight there is still some potential for locally heavy falls uh, in that Burdekin with Sunday's region as well uh, right as we progress into tomorrow, you'll notice there's a lot less activity on the coastline, so just some isolated showers and possible thunderstorms inland of the coastline through the afternoon, and you can see how far west we've spread that moisture along the inland trough. Still some showers, enhanced shower activity around central eastern Queensland expected tomorrow. So you can see just how widespread we're expecting to see convective development over the next 24 to 48 hours. So this rainfall will spread westwards, particularly as we push into overnight tonight into tomorrow. You'll notice there's still potential there for some locally heavy falls through northeast Queensland and also extending down through parts of the Mackay with Sundays area. Although I do believe the model may be slightly overestimating rainfall potential in that Mackay with Sundays region. Winds across the uh, eastern parts today, we can see south easterly is just getting a bit fresh on the south side of this weak central Queensland trough system. So you can see winds gusting up to about 25 knots, maybe 25 to 30 through parts of that coast. Outside of that, generally easterly flow across the eastern seaboard from around about Townsville southwards, gusting to around 15 to 20 knots if you're unlucky. Uh, as we progress into the overnight and tomorrow, we can see that the uh, winds start to spread further northwards and you can see a blanket wide coverage of south easterlies now anywhere from Townsville southwards along the east Queensland coastline and you can see that trough system out west just pushing all the way to the border by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon so quite clearly we're spreading a lot of our moisture westwards and we're going to focus that moisture more towards western Queensland tomorrow. No sign of that low just yet on Monday. It's going to be way out in the eastern Coral Sea. Don't stress, it's not coming, it's not beelining at the coast. It will be moving westwards, but remember, we do expect a deflection to the south and southeast before it gets to the coastline. If you need it, hope you get a shower or storm, and I'll talk to you again in the morning. Have a good day.